I want to welcome you to the YouTube channel of the Prodigal Son Podcast. You know, we do we used to recap a lot of, of things on this channel, but the Lord's been giving me a message, a message to bring, and, and that's what I want to do today is bring you a message that that comes from a scripture that is oh so close to my heart. I've I've had a little rock it, that that my wife has bought me. She bought me this rock. I'm talking about it's been over 30 years ago. And that scripture that's on it, Philippians 4.13, has meant so much to me over the years. I mean, I have drawn strength from that scripture that you just, that, that I can't put it in words a lot of times, what God has done for me when I, when I come to understand what that scripture mean, meant in my life. And I want to read it. Today, it says, Philippians 4 and 13 says, I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. Now, when I quote that verse, I kind of quote it like I can do all things through Christ, through Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior, who strengthens me. You know why I do that? I, I, because I want to reinforce who I am who I am in Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior, and where I stand. You know, that scripture has, like I said, has carried me a long way in my life. And I want you to understand that it'll carry you. You know, God's no respecter of person. What he has done for me, what he has done for all these other millions of Christians out here on the, in this world, he'll do for you. He'll strengthen you. He'll carry you. He'll put you in a place in the world that we live in today that you'll look around and think, how did I get here? How did I come to, to be as strong as I am? You know how you're going you're gonna to get into those places? You're going to start believing what God says instead of what your feelings say. You know, we don't walk by thus saith how we feel. We walk by faith. We walk by faith in what God has said. And I've learned over the last few years of my life that if I'll do that, I can see things happen that, that I never thought possible. Never thought in a million years. If you'd have told me five, six years ago that I'd be doing a podcast that, got, that has went around the world, uh, I, I mean, in just a, a few short years, people all over this planet downloading it, sending us mail and emailing us and, 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 and letting us know just how, how, how much they're getting out of these teachings. And if, I, if I'd have known that, if, I, if, 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 if somebody had told me that rather, I'd say, well, you're crazy. There ain't no way Stacy Hayes will ever be doing anything like that. Because I was struggling at the time. Six years ago, well, I take that back. I, I, you'd have to probably back it up a, a 10 years ago. Two, 2021 or 2011 and 2012, I turned my heart and life back over to God. But it wasn't until 2000, the late 2014 that I started getting the, the gist of what God was trying to tell me all my life, all my life in his word, how to try to strengthen me all my life. I lived a, 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 a scared wreck most of the time. You'd have never known it. You'd have never known that I was scared, but I was. Wasn't scared of people. Wasn't scared of, of what ha would happen or what uh, was going on in the world. I was scared of the unknown. I was scared of what, not being prepared for, for what was coming because I didn't know what was coming. I wasn't walking by faith. I was walking by what I could see. And if I couldn't see it, it worried me. Uh, that, that, oh, it, I mean, just done more than worry me. It, it put me in a, a state of mind that, that I, I couldn't get past. But the fact of the matter is, the longer I talk about and understand what Philippians 4.13 says, and today... The unknown don't bother me at all. Today, I come to a place in my life and have been there for years now that no matter what may come, 
I know God's got my back. I know it without a shadow of a doubt. I know without a shadow of a doubt that his word is true above all opinion, and I'm going to stand on his word. I'm going to go through this life and be a light, a light to the world that I walk in and to this entire planet through this podcast. I'm going to be a light as a vessel and a beacon and an example of what God will do for you if you'll just allow him to, if you'll just believe him and start proclaiming his word over those situations instead of being scared out of your mind because you don't know what's coming. People, we've, we've got, we, we've got a, a job to do today. We're not out of money. We're not out of time. Or we're not out of places to preach or people to preach to. We're out of time. This world, I don't. In the '90s, I couldn't have seen it get any worse. But but 30 years later, you look and think, my goodness, the '90s were nothing compared to what we're living in today. I can't see it get see it getting any worse without the Lord coming back. I cannot. But what I want to encourage you today about is, no matter what you see in this world, you can. Do all things through Christ, which strengthens you. Through Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior, who strengthens you. And you say, well, how's he going to strengthen me? How's he gonna, how is he going to make me any different than anyone else that I know? Because, I mean, I know a lot of people, and, and, and you and I both do, but you're asking the question, how am I going to, how is, how is Jesus going to strengthen me? He's going to strengthen you through his word. You know, I, lo- I know a lot of people in, this, in, the, in my life, in my life, friends and family, that love God. They want to do the, their dead level best to be what God wants them to be in their life. But yet, they struggle and they, 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 just, they come to places that they don't know which way to turn. And you know why they do that? It's because they're not grounded in His Word. They're grounded in how they feel. And I'm going to tell you something. Feelings will get you in trouble. Feelings will get you in some deep water. I know. It drug me out into the world and, and put me into a place that, that I mean, I can't, I can't explain what what how my feelings done me over the years. But yet, now, looking back on it, it was such a waste of time. Such a waste of time to to worry about something that was probably never going to come to pass. Never going to happen. But you know how, you know, just things are. You know, you listen to everything that comes into your mind, and before you know it, you're, you're defeated. Instead of, Believing what I knew to be true. I've known this scripture was true my entire adult life. But yet somewhere along the line, I forgot that. Never really stood on it. I knew I could. And I knew that it would work from time to time. See, there's a difference. But now, today, I look at Philippians 13... Like there ain't nothing in this world can defeat me. Why? Because I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. My Lord and Savior Jesus Christ who strengthens me. Do you understand that? That's something that I want the world to know. That he'll do the same for you. He'll strengthen you like you've never been strengthened before. He'll put you in a place that, like I said, you'll look around and say, how in the world did I, I, I end up right here? How did I, not knowing as anything about what I'm doing, get into it and, and, and end up seeing this podcast being downloaded thousands, thousands of times all over this planet? And it's because God was for me. He's not against me. He's for you. Because if he can, can, can put us in places that he can shine through us, then others 
will be changed. You know, I talked to a guy the other day. Now, this is, this is the truth. This is the reason I do this podcast. I told him, I said, you know, it, it, I told him the story about the, the apple. I, I've, 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 said, I've talked about this scenario and this illustration a few times on the podcast, but I, I feel like you need to hear this. You know, I told him, I said, you can cut open the apple. He, and I said, anybody can count the apples, you know, the, the seeds in an apple. You know, you've got those four, five, six seeds maybe in, a, in an apple. I said, but it takes a man of faith to count the apples in a seed, to look at a seed that come out of that apple and think, if I've got enough patience, if I've got enough faith, you can see a million acres of apple trees come out of one seed. And I told him, I said, this word that I'm planting in you, this word, God's word that I'm planting in you can flourish and, and, and you can put forth what I'm telling you to the world that you live in, that you walk in, to the people you see, and we can see things change, and we can. That's the reason I do this podcast. That's the reason I proclaim God's word is true above all opinion every time I do this podcast because if I can instill that in you, if I can instill that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you and you and, and it becomes real to you and that seed that I plant in you grows to where it's supposed to grow and how it's supposed to grow, then you will be able to be a light to somebody else to convince them that God's Word is true and they can do all things through Christ Jesus, Jesus Christ their Lord and Savior. See, this I can't do everything. I can't. I wish I could. There's no preacher on this planet that can, get, can reach the world the way it needs to be reached. It takes us all working together, branching out, out into the world with, with, through the avenues that you have, through the avenues that the people that you know have, and, and reaching out to people that I'll never be able to, to reach. They'll never listen to this podcast. They'll never, they'll never see me on a video. They'll never see me at a church preaching. But they, you can reach them, and you can teach them the same word, the truth that God has given us to give away, to give away to anybody that'll listen, anybody that'll believe it. Now listen, you say, well, how am I going to do that? How am I? going to make a difference in this world. Well, first of all, you're going to find out who you are. You're going to go back into our weekly podcast, and you're going, you're going to go back to June the 21st of 2021 and, and download the list that we talk about so much on this podcast and on this YouTube channel off of our website and, and get into this study with us. Get into this study with us and find out who you are because that's the key, key important thing. You know, this week at the jail, I told them, I said, listen, I've come to a conclusion, and I want to tell you, I've come to a conclusion that other than salvation or past salvation, salvation being the most important thing in your life, that is the most important decision that you'll ever make in your life. But past that, I'm going to tell you what the most important decision that you'll ever make or that you'll ever find out, the, the, the bit of information that you'll find, ever find out in your life past salvation. You know what that is? Who you are in Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior. Who God has made you to be. Who he said he ha that you are in his word. This, this list gets shorter and shorter every week. And we don't have very many weeks at all left to, to, to wrap the study up. But I doubt I'll ever get off the subject on this podcast. 
It'll always point back to teaching you who you are or who you can be if you've never been born again. See, that's so important. So important. So Salvation is so important. But finding out who you are, if you don't find out who you are in your salvation, you'll never be able to be used the way God wants you to be used. Because if you don't know who you are, you're too busy uh, trying to work out your own salvation. Then you, so, so if you're trying to work out your own salvation, you don't have time to look around and say, you know, how can I help you? People don't see that confidence that we talk about all the time on this podcast. People don't see the confidence that, that can be instilled in you when you know and, and understand that, that God has done a work in you that mankind couldn't, that you couldn't. You, couldn't. you couldn't have acquired enough money in this world to buy the privilege that you've been given through Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior. You understand that? I want to read a scripture. It's First Peter 1 and 18. I read this all the time. I read it for myself a lot. And, and I, want you, I want you to get hold of this because, you know, a lot of people, get, they get complacent in what they've done and what they do in their Christian life. But listen, it says, 1 Peter 1.18 says, For as much as you know that you are not redeemed with corruptible things as silver and gold from your vain conversations received by traditions from your Father, it says, But with the precious blood of Christ as a lamb slain, without blemish and without spot. Now listen to this 20th verse. It says, Who verily was foreordained before the foundation of the world, but was manifest in these last times for you. Jesus came and done all this for us. He redeemed us. He redeemed us with a sacrifice that we couldn't buy. We're not redeemed with corruptible things, things of this world, works, dead works that we get out here and do. Our, and I'm not saying don't do your dead level best in your life to be the Christian that you're supposed to be. But don't allow that to fool you, good works to fool you into thinking that you're anything past Jesus Christ being Lord of your life because that is the key to being born again, to allowing Jesus, Jesus Christ to be your Lord and, and coming to understand that those good works are not the root of your salvation, but they're the, they're the fruit of it. Now, those good works and that, that moral and ethical life that you live are the fruit of being born again. They're the fruit of, of finding out who you are in your salvation in Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior. See, there's a major difference in a lot of people in this world. I'm not saying they're not born again. I'm just saying they've got wrapped up in, 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 in their, what they're doing and never found out who God says they are so they can relax. How many people do you know that live in this world right now lives in peace. The Bible says to be carnally minded is death. To be spiritually minded is life and peace. Do you know anybody that lives in peace? I know very few people that has peace that they can just rest in what God says and what God does. I'm going to tell you something. It took me a lot of years to come to the place that I am right now of being able to rest with peace in my heart on my life and how I'm living and, and me flourishing in this world to be a light to somebody else. Oh, there's a major difference in, in trying to gut it out yourself, trying to work it out and, and carry the load yourself. There's a major difference in that and, and casting all your cares upon him and letting him carry them. I told him at the jail, I said, listen, Matthew eleven twenty eight says, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. 
It says, Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart. He said, For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. So listen to me. We need to yoke up with him. You say, How in the world can I ever stand up in front of God? And, and beside my Savior and yoke up with him. You know how you're going to do that? You're going to find out who you've been made to be in Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior. You're going to find out that you can do all things through Christ Jesus, your Lord and Savior, that strengthens you and, and that Jesus has made you a new creature and you can stand up beside him and take his yoke and allow him to lead you and guide you and use you out here in this world to do mighty things, to do mighty things all over this planet for his honor and his glory. Oh, I thank God that I have found out what my stint in life is, what my mission in life is, and that is to teach people, to teach them all over this planet, all over this town, all over this state, all over this nation, who they are, who God has made them to be. Not what religion's made them to be, but who God's made them to be. And that they, they can live that Christian life. They can live that Christian life through Him, strong in Him, not in their self, not in what they've done in life, not what they've accomplished in life. No, they can do that through his precious blood that was shed on Calvary's cross for their sins and, and stand in what he done. And don't discount it. Don't ever discount what God's done. You say, well, I've never done that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to beg to differ with you. i done it for years. And i done it, thought I was being humble, through humility, me saying, well, I'm just an old sinner saved by grace, you know. I, I, I struggle and make mistakes every day. And I did. I, I, I understand how, what peop, how people come from, through, you know, where that comes from. They, they don't want to be uh, arrogant and, and stand on their own uh, merit. I understand that. But when they say that, what they're really saying is, Jesus, his, his sacrifice and what he done wasn't good enough to cleanse me to the point that I can be used out here in this world. Oh, that's a lie. That's a lie. I don't ever want to, to dispute God's word ever again. I'm not going to. And I pray you understand what I'm talking about because when you stand and disagree with what God says in his word, about what he has done in your life if you're born again, when you disagree with that, you're saying, God, I just can't believe that. What you done wasn't good enough. I don't want to ever stand in that. Don't want you standing in it. Don't I that's why I'm here doing doing these podcasts. That's right why we do these podcasts six days a week and then do a video on Tuesday. Because we want people to to get hold of what God has said in their life, what God has said to them, for them, and about them in His Word. His Word is true above all opinion. And when we come to know and understand that we can count on that Word, count on what He has said, and, and believe it, and walk in it, and without a shadow of a doubt, never come to a place that we ever disagree with God's Word over how we feel, or the mistake that we've made. You know, well, I've made a lot of mistakes in my life. And, and a, a good friend of mine, my pastor, he said it the other day. He said, listen, he was reading a quote from somebody. He said, success often comes out of a pile of mistakes. And that's so true. That's so true. I've made a lot of mistakes. But I've learned to understand that when I do make mistakes, when I sin and fall short of the glory of God, you know, Romans 3.24 says, we all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. But Romans 3.24 says, what does it say? Just let me go back and read it. Uh, because I want, you to, I want you to get 
what most people miss about this, this 23rd verse. They miss the 24th verse. It says, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, being justified freely by His grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. We've all sinned. We've all come, fallen short. But we, we need to understand that we've been justified freely by God's grace. If you sin, do what 1 John 1 and 9 says. Confess your sins. He's faithful and just to forgive you of your sins and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. He'll do that. And come to know and understand what Jesus done. He justified you freely through God's grace and His sacrifice through the redemption that is in through Christ Jesus. Now, I want to ask you a question today. Have you ever been born again? There's millions of people out here in this world that believe God is who He says He is. They believe that, that He done what He said He done, and He sent His own Son, Jesus Christ, down here to die on the cross for their sins. And they believe that God raised Him from the dead to justify them. They believe that. But, but, but yet they're lacking one thing, and that is confessing Him as Lord, making Him Lord of their life through confessing Jesus as Lord of their life out of their mouth and believing in their heart. They believe it. Millions believe it. They'll tell you, I believe God done what He said He done. And then you ask them, well, have you ever confessed Him as Lord? Well, no. No, I hadn't. I've never... You know, they've, they've never done that. People, there's a lot of, lot of good people out here in this world that are waiting on God to knock them in the head and make them get born again. He's not going to do that. Romans 10 and 9 said, If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead, it says thou shalt be saved. It says, For with the heart man believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. That's all it takes to be born again. But it takes you taking that step, making Jesus Christ your Lord, your Savior. Oh, I thank God for that. I thank God for my salvation, that Jesus is my Lord. And I pray today that you make Him Lord of your life, that you come to a place that you want to know and understand that God's for you. And then when you make Jesus Lord of your life, then you download this list and get in this study with us and go back to June the 21st of 2021 and go through this list with us and find out who God says you are through Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior. Glory to God. If you've never made Jesus Lord of your life, make Him Lord today. And if you have, Find out who God says you are in your salvation. I promise you, either one of them will change your life like it's never been changed before. Now, hey, I am so glad that you tuned in to this podcast. I want you to understand something today. God is for you, and I'm for you. I want, if you've got a prayer request, send me those prayer requests. I want to hear from you. I want to hear what God's doing in your life. I want to hear what you need Him to do. If you got a prayer request, send it to me because I want to send you the truth. I want to send you God's Word about what He says about that request. I want to, say, I want to agree with you about that Word so that we can see your prayer request answered. Oh, I thank God for people that put their heart and their life in the truth in God's Word. Go to our website. It's the-prodigalson.com. Now, I want to take just a minute and thank all the partners. Partners, thank you for all that you do sowing into this ministry, helping us do what God has commissioned us to do, and that is to give His Word away free of charge all over this planet, all over this planet, so others can be set free. Thank you, partners. I pray Mark 10, 29, and 30 over you today. A hundredfold return over everything that you sow into this ministry. Now, whether you're a partner or whether you're not, share these podcasts on your social media so others can be set free. And if you're not a partner, pray about becoming a partner. 
Pray about what God would have you to do so into his kingdom today. Go to our website. Get in touch with us. It's the-prodigalson.com. 